Uh, sorry. Okay. Sunday, April 25, 2015. This is a veterinary educational video to teach vets how to treat an eye abscess in a dwarf hamster. The basic principle is to incise and drain. Now this is easy, but the problem lies with the recurrence of the abscess. In this case, I have this hamster, this dwarf hamster, which had an eye abscess. As you can see here, eye abscess. About uh, five weeks ago, incised, incised. Now, the, the owner wants the abscess wants the hamster to go back home immediately. I did advise the owner to press the incision wound to drain the abscess because that is important. But the owner didn't do it and then now, five weeks later, she says that I did not tell her. I did not tell her to do it and so she wanted free, free treatment for this recurring abscess again. So now I'm doing an educational video to teach to teach uh, vets how to do, how to treat this case. Now, I have written down, I have written down here what is the procedure, the process. Dove hamster eye abscess. Now, the hamsters sometimes they do get this subconjunctival abscess where it's below the lower eyelid or sometimes upper eyelid. Now this subconjunctival abscess needs to be lanced and drained otherwise the hamster keeps rubbing the eyes and uh, usually the owner wait until the abscess is very big as in this case and then sees the vet. Now this, 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 this case has to be lanced quite a big one, quite a long incision. Now some vets they thought they just prep, do a small incision and then they express out the pass and uh, that's okay but actually that is not the correct method the correct method is a long skin incision because this long skin incision then you can get all the bacteria and the pus drain out the second day because a short skin incision it closes up the next day especially if the owner wants to bring home now I'm talking about there are two post-op scenarios one is day surgery and one is inpatient Inpatient for two days so that the vet can check and drain any more pus. Now, these two days, of course, will be additional cost, and some owners don't like it. So they want a day surgery. Now, this day surgery has in this case, I did not put the post discharge instruction in writing. In writing means you tell the owner that the uh, owner must put eye drops and drain again. How to drain it? The owner used a cotton bud, a cotton bud to press onto abscesses to, to drain out any more pus. Let's say three times a day for two days so that uh, all the remaining bacteria can be expressed out. Some of the bacteria might be here at the corners here. So in, in, uh, in this, the instruction should be in writing. After the owner uses cotton bud to do it three times a day for two or three days, then she also put eye drops two or three times a day. Now these eye drops will contain antibiotics and anti-inflammatory. So these eye drops were put in, and the owner, since the owner wants to do it herself, so she should be given the instructions in writing. So once in writing, there is no no uh, misunderstanding. Because uh, many cases, when a recurrent abscess comes in, the owner wants free treatment. And uh, it's very unhappy and unpleasant because the owner didn't do the, the job. She doesn't know how to do the, the nursing has in this case. And then, then there will be misunderstanding saying that, well, you didn't tell me how to do it. But actually, the best is to put in writing. Nothing, no misunderstanding. So now, I'm going to, do, to show how I'm going to do, treat this case. Basically, put under anesthesia, cut a big incision, not just a small one as many 
younger vets or, or new vets like to do, cut a big one, a long one, maybe even uh, six millimeter over the abscess and beyond. And then I was use syringe, syringe out any, any remaining pass and also use this to curate, to pick up any debris, any debris inside the, the under the skin, to pull out anything to check. So these are the two things uh, that have been done. Of course, there's a scalpel blade for, for incision, a fast incision under anesthetic. It should take less than two seconds. And uh, so these are the things I will do. And uh, now I'm going to start ready. So we will start now. I will take the answer here. Okay, starting. You will see that uh, not yet not the time yet. Not. So it starts here. Okay, I'll pick the hamster here. Weigh the hamster. Now this is a two-year-old female hamster. Weighs about uh, 89 grams. Okay, so this hamster, I will put inside this anesthetic container. I'll put inside here. It's, this hamster doesn't bite, so it's okay. So I may need to, to have a bit more. And the gas is on. See the timing? 10.53. Switch on the oxygen. Flow rate about 4. <coughs> so it'll be 5%. 5%. And uh, once the hamster is not moving, once the hamster is not moving, I will just put it down here, lance, curette, and syringe. It's a very fast process. So, uh, 1053 normally it takes about two, one or two minutes. The hamster should be down. And uh, so, in the meantime, we have to wait. Wait and uh, wait a while. You can see once the hamster stops moving, that is the time to, to pick it up, pick him up, and do. Mm, this it should be soon. Coming soon. That should be one minute now. <coughs> one minute. And uh, okay, so it's down already. Now we don't do it until she's fully down. So I take her out, and uh, I will just lance, lance abscess. And to do it, this is what I mean by having a big cut, not just a small one, a big one. can see it's an encapsulated abscess. <coughs> and uh, some pus comes up from inside the content diver. So we just express out the pus. Use the curette to curate it. You can see there's a lot of uh, a lot of past here. It's already five weeks ago since it was done earlier on by the Dr. Daniel. And uh, the owner wanted the, the hamster back immediately. Now just curate it. All the past curate out. You see there's a lot of past inside. And the uh, hamster is going to wake up soon. And here as well, the subcontent driver, there is uh, some abscess here, but uh, the main one is here. Yeah. Hamster is going to wake up, and uh, I will just syringe. Syringe out any leftover, leftover uh, pass. And uh, check again with the with, with the forceps to see anymore. 
and so you can see that there is not much left. Now I just open up to, to see. Okay. Now if possible don't anesthetize the hamster again because it might die. This is a fat hamster. Yeah. You see? This is a content table, no abscess here. So inside here, we lungs up, okay, it's finished. So the hamsters are awake now, and the swelling is gone. Swelling is gone. There's no more. Then we will do the cleaning again tomorrow now. All these are the warts. Now these warts, these warts might cause irritation to the hamster. You can see the warts here. That the warts are here. The owner does not want it to be removed. These are the warts. Owner doesn't want it to remove. So we don't uh, we don't uh, force the owner to do it. Okay, it's finished. This is the end of surgery. Put it back here and that's it. Okay.